Ann Staley is from Seattle, and Ann is going to demonstrate to us that today, on this program, we're not only going to talk about cheese, we're going to talk about a lot of vegetables and, and other items that normally aren't used in cooking. And you're going to be cooking, Ann Staley is from Seattle. You're graduating from... Uh, Seattle Central Seattle Community Seattle Central College. Community College mm -hmm. this spring, huh? Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. That's great. You're using <laughs> pumpkin. Yes, I am. We don't use pumpkin a whole lot in cooking, do we, Carol? Well, we do, but typically people think that it's one of those things that goes around the holidays exactly. all the time. Yeah. And it's fun mm -hmm. to see a recipe that uses pumpkin in a very different sort of way. This sounds great. So where did this recipe come from, Ann? And how do we get started here? Okay. Well, this is a recipe that I adapted after eating at Tom Douglas's Palace Kitchen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had um, had a nice plate of pumpkin and sage raviolis. And it was it was just so good. I um, went home and thought, tried to figure out a way that I could make it myself. <laughs> okay, well let's get okay. started. Okay, now, how do we do? do? Okay, so we've got bacon it's already um, crisping cooking. in this crisping pan here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we've got some cremini mushrooms sautéing okay. in this pan. We just got these going so that they'd be ready for us. Okay, that looks great. And I think the bacon's looking pretty good too. Okay, so we can actually pull that off. <coughs> And get those into you here. You want the bacon in here? Let's just set that down. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Yes, please. And into this pan, I'm going to add some onions. And we're gonna, going to saute these until translucent. Okay. And add a little sage. Mm, Oops. Sage and onions. Uh, it's such a nice combination. Sage into the onions. Mm -hmm. Is that dried sage or fresh sage? This is dried sage. It just gives it a nice earthy flavor. All right, so we'll get okay. those going. And, we get go and those do you want going. to just soften those? Yes, please. Okay. And now I'm going to start with the pumpkin mixture. Okay. Do you mind handing me that bowl, George? This one. So is this yes. just canned Thank pumpkin, you. Anne? This is just canned pumpkin, just Libby's pureed pumpkin. Like and we're pumpkin. Getting ready for a pumpkin pie. Isn't it? <laughs> pumpkin is one of those dishes that it is unfortunate we don't use it more often because exactly. it, it's very healthy. It's got vitamin A and lots of fiber. Good things in there for us. We're going to add a little bit of milk to that. Now, this is just the canned pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie oh, mix, pepper. right? So, if you're going to make this recipe, be mm -hmm. sure you get the right ingredient. And a little cider vinegar. Oh, that's just, just a good. taste, huh? <laughs> yeah, just to brighten well, it we'll up. We'll put this down here. We may need that again, perhaps. Okay. We have so, so many smells going on right now. Mm -hmm. It's great. So they're all good. Let me tell you that this is, you know, when you see nice ingredients all cooking at one time, and you you think when you put it together, it's got to be good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we're gonna add the onions to the pumpkin. All right. These look like they're soft and ready to go. Yeah, those look they sure great. Do. Any particular kind of onion? This is a yellow onion. Okay. Just a Spanish onion? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna get that mixed up. And that's that's ready to go. Okay. And to the bacon, we're gonna add those mushrooms. Gonna add those mushrooms. They're looking All ready. Right. That's gonna make for a full bowl. We got a lot of mushrooms. I <laughs> love mushrooms, so that's cool. Ooh, look at this. Aren't those nice? Doesn't this look like it's going to make a great lasagna now, what did mix? You, what did you put in that sauce that you cooked that in? Is that just butter? It's just or? mushroom juice. Those really? Are just... Oh, it smells wonderful. Mushrooms are mostly water. Yeah. So when you cook them, the water comes out. I don't know if you noticed, George, okay. when we put these mushrooms on the stove Let's initially, see. this pan was pretty well heaped up. And as the water cooked out, the mushrooms just get smaller and smaller in volume. Here. Okay. So now we are actually ready to layer the lasagna. Okay. And here we've got so some. So we have three bowls of mm -hmm. ingredients. We've got the uh, mushrooms and the bacon, bacon here, and the pumpkin there. And, oh, we have four bowls of ingredients. Good one with, mm -hmm. and I think we need a lasagna pan, George. I'm sorry, oh, the pan, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Thank you. Okay, so what okay. happens next? So now I'm going to start layering the lasagna. Take a layer of noodles. You've got those nice and wet. That, that allows mm -hmm. you to, to really handle them, right? Mm -hmm. okay. And a layer of the pumpkin sauce. I'll tell you, folks, if this if this tastes as good as it smells right now, this must be a heck of a way to start a <laughs> cooking is. show. It is. It's let me phenomenal. Tell you. Great. And from there, 
Which is the this going next? Mm -hmm. mushrooms, mushrooms and, and bacon. bacon. And how much with this would you like? Oh, maybe one more spoon. We're gonna layer it, huh? That's great. Mush those then, all around. Here I've got some mozzarella. Oh, oh more bowls of ingredients. <laughs> some Parmigiano <laughs> Reggiano. Wow. Could you mm -hmm. use your favorite cheese on this if you want to? I think so. I don't think that, okay. that would be a problem. These are just my favorite Ready for cheese. this one? Yeah. So. And this is a Maytag blue cheese. Wow, beautiful now that's blue beautiful. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? So. And did you and just get that at the regular supermarket or is there a specialty store where you got it? I got that at Whole Foods. Okay. Mm -hmm. And John's PFI. A oh, great yes. place for cheese, too. If you live in Seattle, it's a great place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, another layer of pumpkin. Now, this has got some of the sautéed onions in it, has it? Mm -hmm. already. Okay. Okay, and another layer of mushrooms, mushrooms and bacon. and bacon. So, how many layers? We just keep going until we run out of something? We, yep. About three layers. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not patience, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little more mozzarella. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, one of the great things about doing this show is that we have the magic of TV. We can watch her make this and then we can instantly taste instantly it. Taste I like it. that part, George. And okay, now what is this? These are slightly candied walnuts. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You knew we couldn't get that fast, that. <laughs> Those are really nice. Oh, they're wonderful. Add a little, oh. Aren't those nice? This is going to be great. I think we've got room for one more layer. Okay. So. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so is lasagna one of those recipes that you like to play around with and put different things in? It is. You know, I started out with this recipe about five years ago. You know, and this is, I don't know, this is just what it's come to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. Do you want more mushrooms? So, yes, please. Get all those good mushrooms in there. Mm. And bacon, everything's better with mm -hmm. bacon. Now that, that looks like heavier bacon than, than what we would get out of a package of bacon. Did you buy that bulk? Well, no, I actually, it's Coleman's un, uncured. Okay. Coleman's smoked um, uncured bacon. Okay, I'm gonna give you that, George. Thank you. And the last of the cheeses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give that to you. So does your family like this? Mm-hmm. I bet they do. <laughs> this would be one of those fabulous dishes to take to a potluck because it's so oh, different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it would transport very well. And and everybody's gonna comment on it. You know, I got a comment a lot on, on, well, everything can't be that good. And if, if that's oh, the yes. case, they've never been to a block party or a church that's social. That's true. Because nobody brings the worst, they bring their best because the neighbors are going to be eating. You don't want the neighbors bad mouthing your food. Right. <laughs> so really this is, is the, the last truth. layer. Yep, this is the last layer. I'm just going to slightly dust it with some brown sugar. It'll just caramelize on top and just. Uh, and that looks uh, like a nice organic brown sugar you've got there. Nice it's sweet flavor. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, mm -hmm. and this goes into the oven? Mm-hmm. That goes into the oven at um, 350 degrees. For about, about how long? 20 minutes covered and about another 20 minutes uncovered. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not long at all. You know, when you see a pan mm -hmm. that big, you think maybe two hours or something. No. And that wait for it, but <laughs> the magic of television. Wow. <laughs> Does this look great? Look at that. Yeah. So, let's see. Okay. There you go. You want to set one up here for the seat? So we the need something to see. serve this with. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Remember, when you're when you're dishing this up, you're you're cutting through several layers. So if you don't go all the way to the bottom, uh, you could have a little right bit of there. stuff just not quite on the plate yet. Oh, that looks wonderful. That is okay. beautiful. And do you okay. garnish this with okay. anything? I can't resist. You know, I I don't. I usually it's serve beautiful, it with a just lice, like this. Or a nice spring salad, just a tossed simple oh. salad. Mm -hmm. 
I need a little taste here. What a way to start a program, let me tell you. This is, this is mm. absolutely wonderful. Oh, wow, that is amazing. Isn't that good? All those great flavors. Really, I can if, see if, why if, your you know, if, this is if every night oh, you go home you. and you think, gee, what are we going to have for dinner? And I, I don't want the same thing. This right here, starting from the very top. We got one for you, folks. <laughs> Give us a call right now. Take advantage. Get the cookbook. And I thank you, Anne, very, very much. Yes, this was just you. wonderful. Thank you. How long have you been doing this? This dish about five years. Really? Mm -hmm. And how many times did you change it? Oh, probably ten different times. Okay, wow. so you can mm -hmm. do that too if you want to. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give us a call and get the cookbooks. And remember, they make the best gifts you've ever seen in your life. Call us. Mm. Thanks. Nice to meet you.